Biden is selling the border and Republicans are pressed about it. We all know that constructing a border wall was one of Trump's racist promises during his 2016 campaign. And we also know that Trump likes to brag that he built 450 miles of wall. But what he doesn't want you to know is that almost all of that was just updating already existing border fences. But in reality, he only built about 80 miles of wall where there was no previous structure. But back to Biden, how exactly is he selling the wall? What does that even mean? Well, Newsweek reported that GovPlanet, an online marketplace for surplus government materials, recently oversaw the sale of hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of square structural tubes produced by Nucor Tubular that were apparently intended for the former President Donald Trump's border wall, a key promise of his 2016 presidential campaign. So, hey, if you want a piece of the wall, go on GovPlanet. Um, and if you're wondering how much they've made from doing it since late July... $497,705 worth of those materials have been sold, according to GovPlanet. Now, I mentioned Republicans are super unhappy with Biden's decision to sell these materials that were never going to be used in the first place because building the wall was not part of Biden's priorities or even a reasonable plan for his administration. But they're mad. They're mad that he's selling these materials. So <laughs> let's start with uh, Iowa Senator Joni Ernst, who had this to say in response to an article about it on Twitter. She posted, instead of securing the border, President Biden is auctioning off taxpayer-funded wall materials for pennies on the dollar. He cannot avoid Congress's accountability and must use these parts for their intended purpose, build the wall and finish it. And she does have a plan to force him to do that. We'll get into that in a minute, although I think it'll be pretty listless in the end. Let's just take a look at how secure Trump's impenetrable border wall actually made our border. We have a tweet here from Representative Nicole Maliotakis tweeted out, Biden has no regard for taxpayer dollars or how his open border is bankrupting communities across the country that are footing the bill for his failures, said Maliotakis, who is battling to bar migrant shelters from the city's parks and military sites. And the fact that she says it with such pride is absolutely heinous. Lastly, Brian Kilmeade, he was upset. He simply posted sickening in response to the story. Although I will say um, government officials selling unused pieces of construction materials is not how I would define sickening. But I think that there's a lot of things that Brian and Kilmeade and I don't see eye to eye on. Now, that being said, there is an actual effort to stop Biden from being able to do this Newsweek reported that, meanwhile, congressional Republicans have sought to place limitations on what the Biden administration can do with unused border wall materials. In May, Senators Ernst, Ted Cruz of Texas, who you might remember for uh, liking a porn tweet on 9-11, and Roger Wicker of Mississippi announced the Finish It Act, which would require the federal government to either use the materials for wall construction or transfer them to state governments, according to a press release Welcome from to the aftermath Wicker's on the office. No, I think uh, a good use of our taxpayer dollars would be if we scrapped the constructed part of the border fence, which is literally what it is. It is a fence. And we sell those as well. I think these people would be so pissed off to find out that the Pentagon has not passed an audit in the past five years. If they were actually concerned about where taxpayer dollars were going, they would not care about this border fence that people are climbing over. It's absurd. <laughs> And if Mexico paid for it, this is a trade surplus for the United States, and they should be celebrating Biden's fiscal responsibility in this case. <laughs> exactly. 